typical case presentation here a 39 year old gentleman without diabetes and nominal hypertension so he started having leg edema and he has a proteinuria 4 plus on the dipsticks next slide please so he was basically uh, obese also and uh, he was initially treated with the ace inhibitors and thyroid diuretics because of the edema and finally in the next slide we see we can see he his gfr was around 40 with a creatinine of 2.4 so it was increasing means it means it was there in the uh, uh, zigzag manner the creatinine was behaving in the zigzag manner sometimes it was 2.3 3.6 2.8 uh, and such kind of the patient means basically we are dealing with a ckd 3b stage person where the uh, uh, any risk factor, uh, sorry, where the risk factor for the CKDs are already there, hypertension, obesity are there. We try to control that. And in spite of that, the patient's creatinine increases by, say, about four, more than four. Urea increases by 150. And then the patient's, uh, patient has some symptoms of advanced renal failure in the form of some symptoms are there they are uh, i am going to discuss on the uh, later slides so what are the options left when the patient develops such kind of the advanced security stage next slide please hello ma'am next slide please uh, doctor the case presentation 3 ha ha yes doctor it's there on that the i have screen. already discussed discuss that gfr replacement ha yes so indication for re renal replacement therapy so generally some emergency indication for renal replacement therapy that we know and in the emergency cases we cannot take the patient for the operation um, to the operation theater for doing kidney transplantation so generally indication emergency indications for renal replacement therapy they are dealt with hemodialysis only and earlier, few decades ago, four decades or three decades ago, uh, when the hemodialysis uh, was not functioning, means the machines were not easily available. So at that time, acute PD, periodontal dialysis also was very famous and it was uh, means practically used. Right now, it has vanished from the system because of few issues that I will be discussing in fewer slides, I mean, later slides. But now, as in uh, primary physician or a specialist, when we deal with some cases where the uh, requirement of dialysis is there, so the indications you can enumerate, you know also hyperkalemia, metabolic acidosis, refractory to um, medical management, again, fluid overload where the heart failure is there and we are not able to extract the fluid in the proper amount, in the rapid amount, there we need to go ahead with the hemodialysis. Again, pericarditis because of uremia, rub is there, pericardial rub is there, and they are not going to be controlled. Chronic symptoms like anorexia, nausea, vomiting, pruritus because of hyperphosphatemia, hypocalcemia, and decreased sleep, malnutrition, because this CKD patient, means we uh, Doctor, I'm so sorry to uh, involve. Sir, your uh -huh. case is not visible on the screen properly. Can you just place your phone in the webcam oh, on the time? Yes, yeah. doctor. Thank you. Sir. Okay. Yeah, I'm holding. Now, is it visible, ma'am? I'm visible. Uh, I'm visible. Sir, it's upside down. Yes, doctor. Oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you. So, uh, these chronic symptoms also, they are also very important. Even we don't see the lab parameters, rather... Uh, we have to I mean, see the patient status in the form of malnutrition. If malnutrition is too much, because uh, with the when managing the CKD with the conservative treatment, with the medicine, diet restriction, the triple the therapy, that is drugs, diet, and finally dialysis. If the two Ds, that is diet and drugs, they fail, we need to initiate with the dialysis. So if uh, in spite of giving proper diet management in spite of giving proper drug therapy if the patient is azotemic and uh, and again because of diet restriction lot of diet restriction is there especially in the ckd3 and ckd4 stages where don't we don't want to initiate the dialysis in the near future so we have to restrict so much of the diet but 
means everything with uh, comes with a price tag so the diet restriction makes the patient vulnerable to infection because of means deficiency of different vitamins minerals some uh, uh, lot of compromises are there on the diet part and that is the reason because we have to restrict the prote protein and protein is amply available everywhere again everything is being restricted so in, because of that malnutrition is there protein itself is a means protein deficiency in the diet itself is a cause of malnutrition again if you give proper diet so he will be on dialysis in the near future so that balance we have to maintain we have to get a midway and with in spite of this midway if the patient is patient means comes in the stage of stage 5 esrd stage so there we need to take the decision ki let's start with the dialysis so that at least your diet will be ample you will be able to eat properly whatever you want to eat and that immunity will come up so in though you may be dialysis dependent you are going to be dialyzed at least you will survive because leaving the patient in such this, uh, such cases will not be a good decision especially if it's a younger population around 50s around 40s ha huh. if it's a very advanced uh, age elderly age at that time we can take the decision next slide please so what are the options we have when the esrd stage is achieved so two modalities of dialysis and one periodontal dialysis hemodialysis pedonalysis and kidney transplantation three modalities of treatment apart from this we have another option also that is palliative care comfort care so sometimes if the patient is not suitable for hemodialysis is not suitable for pedonalysis so what are the contraindication for hemodialysis inability to take the patient to take to center the patient is not mobile inability to walk is there he is not matlab and again uh, that means the factor the if the patient does not want to the means willingness is not there on the patient part on the patient, patient family part even that is an Uh, relative contraindication for going ahead with the hemodialysis pedonalysis some contraindications like abdominal obesity is there if the patient is not technically sound he will not be able to manage the uh, pedonalysis because the pedonalysis has to be done by himself or the means the uh, patient's relative only or sometimes they can call the technician but throughout the life they cannot call the technician for doing the pedonalysis if that part is lacking on the pedon dialysis part we cannot go ahead with the pedon dialysis at kidney transplantation you know ki the kidneys are not available in the mall or shops so we cannot just go ahead with the kidney transplantation as such if the kidney is available and again monetary support has to be there so we can go ahead with the kidney transplantation and you can see in this graph all these options are interchangeable apart from the comfort care comfort care matlab the patient is going to die but esrd going to hemodialysis can go ahead with the pedonalysis esrd having pedonalysis can go ahead with the kidney transplantation again a patient with the kidney trans on the kidney transplantation if some problem is there with the transplant means graft kidney he can again come back to hemodialysis or pedonalysis so these are interchangeable at some point of time in, in the even though the patient is being dialyzed last 10 years but if there is a possibility that the patient can be can be transplanted if there is a option for transplantation because in the different study it has been showed that the kidney transplantation has a good matlab uh, it, the data shows ki it has a matlab very strong factor which favors the mortality and mor morbidity but the both benefits are there mortality and mor mor morbidity benefits are there hemodialysis we see ki the patients are not matlab uh, they have a very small nominal uh, uh, increment in the mortality benefit but again the morbidity why the patient is morbid as such not able to eat properly the lifestyle the quality of life is too much compromised pedonalysis is initially in the few two years one or two years it's good quality of life is good but again once the infection start it becomes um, a worse option again next slide please so what are the options we have in the dialysis we have hemodialysis pedonalysis we can go ahead with the in center hemodialysis in indian population home dialysis is a new trend and it's good started there in metros like mumbai delhi kolkata bangalore southern population they are more preferring for going with the home hemodialysis 
and again the means amount of investment or amount of expenditure required for home hemodialysis is not that uh, nominal one so they have to have a backup for means financial support in center hemodialysis is the most preferred choice of dialysis in indian population because of two or three important factor because generally these patients are not prepared one indian patients are not prepared one because if the gfr is below 30 we have to prepare the patient mentally and again physically also ki they are going to require dialysis rrt is required but uh, before initiating the dialysis or anything we have to offer them it's now the cafeteria approach is there ki okay, three options are there which option you want to go ahead with so they can tell you ki okay, what are the options matlab these are basically applicable in the um, western population but in our population once the emergency is there in the form of hyperkalemia mean metabolic acidosis or fluid overload high accelerated hypertension there only we need to initiate with the rrt and that at that point of time hemodialysis is the only option again because of financial issue we don't have any support from the government side from the tpa side from any uh, means uh, insurance company uh, side we don't have any support for pd uh, we don't have any support for home hemodialysis and that is the reason in center dialysis is the only option left with our means mid economy or poor class population in the peritoneal dialysis we can see is capd and ccpd two options are there so capd means uh, i will be able to show in the next slide the difference between apd and capd